In today's video, a first look at the brand new feature for Google Classroom, interactive questions for YouTube videos. So let's just jump onto the computer with another flipped classroom tutorial. Here in Google Classroom, I'm going to go to Classwork and I'm going to set a new assignment. Now, as you can see at the bottom where it says YouTube, there is a little new label. And that is because we now have a brand new feature available within Google Classroom. This is rolling out to domains in coming weeks. So let's go ahead and click on YouTube. I'm going to attach a YouTube video to this assignment. So let's go ahead and pop that URL in there. It's going to search for the video and you will see a new option appears in the bottom right corner and that is now to add questions. So let's go ahead and click on add questions. I'm going to dive into this video. I get my video at the top. It will start playing if I press play. I'm not going to do that right now, but what I am going to do is I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to add an instructional text. This is the text that your students will see before they start watching the video. So let's go ahead and add answer all questions about the latest flipped classroom tutorials video. Now, this was a video I made about the updates coming to Google Workspace for Education. And so we're going to ask some questions about that. We're going to show that at the beginning. And now we can scroll back up and find the first part or the first point in my video where I want to add a question. So let's go ahead and scroll all the way here. This is where I mentioned the BET conference in the UK. So let's go ahead and add a question. We're going to click on Add. And we can now add our question. So which event is mentioned here? Question mark. Any of these could be the answer. We have BET, ISTE, or maybe it was an ISTEC event. Who knows? We're going to remove the fourth option. We don't need that. But if you wanted more, you could also click on Add Options to have more options in the answers. At the moment, we only have access to multiple choice questions many more question types will hopefully be rolled out in the future. Let's select the correct answer. It was, of course, BET, B-E-T-T, in the UK. And then we just move back up and find another point in this video. So I'm now going to scroll a little bit farther. Here we go. This talks about custom building blocks. So let's go ahead and add a question right here. Click on Add. What are the blocks mentioned here question mark and then again we have a number of option custom random set or special and then the correct answer is custom and then we can even click on shuffle order to just mix it all up and that's that when you're ready to push this out to students you go to the top right and click on attach but I want to preview it first, see what this will look like to our students. So let's click on this eye icon, preview as a student. It will embed those questions onto the YouTube video. And as you can see, this is what it will look like to our students. We have our instructions right here. Answer all questions about the flipped classroom tutorials video. Could obviously be a lot more detailed. You could ask your students to really focus on certain parts of a video. And at the top, we can see there are two multiple choice questions. And here's the finish. So your students get a really good idea of where those questions are located and how long the video will take to watch. As they start watching, you can see it starts going through all the different parts of the video. And then once it gets to that question, as you can see here, the video pauses and it scrolls down to where that question is. Now let's go ahead and answer the first question correctly and then the second one wrong so you can see what that looks like. We're going to start with bet, submit. Excellent, that was the correct answer. You can see it automatically ticks it. We can then continue. Let's fast forward to the next multiple choice question. And here we're going to say these are called random blocks, which is obviously the wrong answer. And we are automatically told this is wrong. Try another answer. 
So as you can see, this is a really useful feature. Great to have this as part of Google Classroom. So this is rolling out in the coming weeks to everyone on the teaching and learning upgrade version of Google Workspace, as well as the Education Plus versions. Now, if you want more information about that, scroll down into the description. You'll find links to other videos about these different versions of Google Workspace for Education. In the meantime, let me know what you think of this feature. Is this something that you're going to use with your students? How are you going to use this? What would you like to see added? Let me know in that comment section below. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.